you in this morning's Wisconsin Women Making a Difference. Aisha, you're checking in with uh, women in the farming field. Yes, so the 2017 census shows a 16% rise in the role women have, whether they're farming or making those big decisions as landowners. And there's a network that we're going to check out. It's called Wisconsin Women in Conservation, helping women grow in the industry. It was just like, yeah, they look so pretty against the blue <laughs> sky. It's a good day to hop on the ATV and hang out with the cows on Baressa Family Farm in New London. So there's two that were born earlier and then these two and they're buddies with each other. Aww. Rachel Baressa owns this land, her family farm where she grew up. She's a grazing expert with a specialty in soil health and a master's in agroecology. I like to always say that, you know, if we are managing for your soil first, um, then the grass will come inherently, you know, so healthy soil, healthy grass, healthy animals, and then I direct market my beef, so then a healthy final product for my customers. She's also a conservation coach with Wisconsin Women in Conservation. It's a group of women farmers, biologists, environmentalists, who all have a mission to support, educate, and inspire each other. Anytime you can be in a group of people and feel like you've got something in common and you're part of a community and you get motivated and inspired by each other. Women have been interested in conservation for years, but more women are stepping into the field, hoping to make an impact. Peer-to-peer -peer learning is so important and this network really provides that. Rachel's good friend, Julie Peterson, is also a part of the network. She's a biologist with Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever. I work with landowners to implement uh, conservation practices, really to help landowners plant what pheasants and wildlife um, need on the landscape. So what we plant for pheasants is this tall native grass that has a really big root system. Um, and you want to put a lot of variety of grasses and flowers on the landscape um, for pheasants and a lot of other wildlife species. The women also want to bring sustainable long-term change so future generations can have clean waterways, for example. Yeah. Oh, and she's got a black tongue. Will you show your tongue? Oh, it's why know. Rachel believes in cow grazing, knowing how much of an impact farming can have on our environment. But none of it works without putting a shovel into the ground. There we go. There's our worms. The cows, by moving and grazing, she says, can do so much of the work. Healthy soil where I'm not applying any real fertilizer because within the soil um, itself, it's going to be able to break down um, that organic matter into the nutrients that it needs. She says it's important letting it all run the way it would naturally. The value of really encouraging women to learn about conservation and um, get excited about it is there. Um, because women own a lot of land in Wisconsin. And so traditionally women have not been at the table making you know, management decisions. And so you know, um, being part of this network really helps to encourage women to, to do some cool things on their property. Wisconsin Women in Conservation as a network hope that by reconnecting the consumer or neighbor with the farmer, we can see rural communities thrive once again for years to come. Hello. Aisha Morales, Action 2 News, New London. Had a great day that on the so farm. Cool. That's Thanks, great guys. So cool. yeah, I just want to mention too, if there's anybody interested in conservation, maybe you have some land, you're just curious in general, maybe mm -hmm. you're not a farmer. They do have lots of events on their Women in Conservation Facebook page. They're on Instagram. They have a website. And you saw that all those women work together. So if you're intimidated by all of it, mm -hmm. they're there to help you. So. Yeah.